Hi, hi guys! So for today's video, pink na pink tayo. Oo. Kakatapos ko lang maligo. As usual. Kung hindi nyo napapansin, no? Every time I make a video, dagi akong kakatapos lang maligo. Kasi bago ako mag-film talaga, guys, naliligo ako. I want to be fresh and clean and ready. <laughs> Dan sa ko namang makeup pag i-review natin. And sakto rin naman kasi yung mga products na paglalaroan natin ay pink na pink yung packaging. Also, ngayon pala ang pasensya na ako may mga naririnig kayong mga unnecessary noises kasi may construction sa first floor. So... Anyway, in case you're living under the rock, ang Fresh Philippines nag-launch sila ng um, Fresh K Beauty Lab. And they released a couple of products na, in my opinion, parang let's say mga youngster or college friendly. I'm not gonna say high school friendly because high school, please don't use makeup. Enjoy your youthful skin. Focus more probably on the skincare na hiyang for your age. And not so much on the makeup. Let's leave that sa college era mo. Or actually, first year, second year college. Enjoy your youthful skin. Mag-aral ka na na mag-makeup pagdating mo ng third year or fourth year. Nanir mo? Nangingi alam. Anyway, bago tayo mag-makeup, mag-skin prep muna. Kiss! And you know guys, one of my favorite skincare talaga is also from Fresh Skin Lab, yung Tomato Glass Skin line nila. That entire range, super hiyang sa akin. And I love it so much. Hindi lang ako bumibili nun every time na tampak ako ng mga skincare na kailangang i-review. Okay, so part ng K-Beauty Lab collection nila is itong face sculpting gua sha. And you guys, I love using gua sha. Kasi with regular use, nakaka-deep pop talaga siya na face. Nakatulong siya sa blood flow sa face mo. And somehow, it helps with the wrinkles and fine lines. At syempre, nakaka-relax siyang gamitin. Hindi lang nakaka-relax yung mga <laughs> construction noises. Nakakaloka. And then, I'm going to use itong tomato glass brightening serum. Ito naman, when I apply this, since nakapag-gua siya na ako with the toner, I'm going to use my own fingers na in massaging it into my face. So to prep the lips, I'm going to use itong Fresh Beauty Tinted Jelly Lip Balm. Dito kasama sa collection. But I have it kasi because I have a vast collection of lip care, you guys. Like tinted lip balms and all that. So isa yan sa mga video na dapat yung abangan. Papakita ko sa inyo yung iba't ibang lip balms or lip cares na tinted, na perfect para dun sa mga ayaw mag-lipstick. Hmm? Abangan! Next product from the Fresh K Beauty Lab is this Eyebrow Define 3-in-1 Pen. So, ang sabi dito, it's smudge-proof, waterproof, sweat-proof. Meron siyang built-in brush and sponge tip. It has five times vitamins, vitamin B3, B5, B6. And I got the shade Espresso. Ito yung mismong product. Hello! Lakas makabata, day. <laughs> Over here is the spoolie. That's good. Over here is the pencil itself. Tapos meron pa dito sa gitna, eh. Oh, over here is the smudger. Ay, yung sarap ng spoolie. Hindi siya, like, sobrang gaspang. Okay. Again, I got the shade Espresso. Ah, my brown brown. It's like a brown, pero with grayish undertone. It's very creamy, very easy to use, very easy to apply. Perfect siya for beginners, yung hindi masyadong komplikado. Kaya lang for today's video, sabog-sabog talaga yung kilay ko. Kailangan ko na magpag-groom ng kilay. Yeah. Okay, so wala silang cushion or any foundation yung mga ganyan-ganyan or skin tint na nilaunch with the K-Beauty Lab. Ang meron sila is a skin mattifying setting powder. So I'm just gonna go grab a lightweight uh, foundation or base para naman may magamit tayo kahit pa paano to cover the redness and an even skin tone that I have. So for foundation, I'm using yung Lucky Beauty Angel Skin Veil. Very manipis lang ilalagay ko because I want to maintain that freshness and skin-like finish. I just want to even out my skin tone. Let me just brush my remaining lash extensions. I have two types of blush here. So, nag-launch sila ng dalawang klaseng blush. This one is the Blush Bomb Cream Stick. Same benefits, my five times vitamins. And I got the shade Berry Swirl. So, this is what it looks like. Oh my god. Very creamy and very easy to blend. So this is what berry swirl looks like. Hindi ko lang sure ilan yung shades na meron sila. Pero guys, hindi siya like super tight. Ang bilis niyang i-swirl. So I have a feeling yung mga ganitong products may tendency to na pag ito nabugbog sa loob ng bag mo, syempre minsan diba, pag bubabiyahe kayo na all that, hindi mo napapasin ang kalat na yung mga gamit mo. May tendency to die na matanggal. At may tendency to lumawag with so much use. Next blush is itong Blush Bomb Power Duo. So I got the shade Cher Chocolate and Caramel Sugar. And this is what it looks like. Heart shape yung packaging. 
This is probably cherry chocolate and I think caramel sugar. This is what cherry chocolate looks like and caramel sugar over here. So this is cherry chocolate and this is caramel sugar. So si cherry chocolate bagay nga sa kanya yung cherry chocolate. Because it's like a combination of red and brown. And then si caramel sugar, it's actually on the peachy pink side. Okay, so bad about this, I'm going to use yung cream stick on my cheeks. And maybe this one I could use as an eyeshadow. Alam mo, ayoko lang sa mga ganitong blush duo is you have to be very careful in using your brush. Yeah, you can combine both. Pero kung gusto mo ito lang, so kailangan medyo... Dahan dahan ka sa paggamit ng brush mo. Anyway, I'm going to use yung blush bomb cream stick. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. Okay, tignan natin kung. <laughs> Please blend. Oh, hindi siya blend you guys. Lalo na kapag ka nainitan siya. So, yung mga cream blushes kasi ng mga ganito, tumitigas kapag nalamigan or like na store sa my aircon na room. It's really easy to use, easy to blend. Yan e eh, kung ma fingers ka. You can use your brush naman. Pero when it comes to cream products, kasi I love using my fingers kasi no warm name products sa skin ko. Mas, mas maganda yung pag melt at pag blend. Pero syapre kanya kanya naman tayo ng style, kanya kanya tayo ng preference. Okay, so for your fairness and equality purposes, <laughs> gagamitin ko to as an eyeshadow. Kasi mga pwede naman. Wait, let me put a little bit of concealer para talagang may kapitan siya. I'm going to use muna yung caramel sugar very lightly. Ay, be. Ma powder siya kapag gagawin mo ito mo ng brush, be. Dalawang ganun ka lang, very light tap. Can you see the kickback? So I'm going to use it as a transition shade lang. Okay, so tingnan niyo na guys. Ito siya pag ginamit yung blush. Hmm, <laughs> hindi siya sa eyeshadow, you guys. I'm going to put this in sa ilalim. It's quite pigmented actually. I'm going to get yung cherry chocolate and then ilalagay ko siya malapit sa lash area and outer corners. And then I'm going to take this brush again and clean the edges. Okay, so we are done with the eyeshadows. Pwede na natin gamitin itong Skin Mattifying Setting Powder. And I got the shade Creme Brulee. And this is what the packaging looks like. Very, very fun teenager, you guys. At ito siya. When you open it, so meron siyang puff. But of course, I'm not going to use the puff. Instead, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. So itong Creme Brulee is really like yellow. Yellow undertone. Like ko ang gamitin sandali yung puff. Tignan ko lang kung may coverage. Yeah, no, I don't... <laughs> I don't like the puff. <laughs> Namumuo. Namumuo mo oday. Ah, okay. So, sabi dito, for light coverage, use a brush. Pero, for more coverage, apply with a powder puff. Pero, ang pangit ng powder puff nila, guys. Parang pag nilagay mo, kung parang mo siya nilagay, nadikit na agad. Ang hirap niyang i-blend ng ganun. Pero, nakikita ko nga na meron siyang ano. It can provide coverage, but not so much coverage. Light to buildable medium. Maybe, I could add a little bit of yung cherry chocolate on top. Kasi yun yung medyo malapit sa color ni Berry Swirl. Very careful, kasi ayokong malagyan ng caramel sugar. Be, makalat! So I'm just going to contour my nose using my favorite contour powder from Get Ready Cosmetics. So for the lips, you guys, I have here your Precision Pout Liquid Matte Lipstick. And claim is it's long-lasting, highly pigmented, transfer-proof, and 24-hour hydration. And it got two shades, Red Velvet and Apple Candy. Over here is plastic. Ito, acrylic casing. So unahin natin yung Apple Candy. Oh, may pintura. Not that I mind the smell. Pero baka sensitive ka. So, this is apple candy at... Malagkit siya, you guys. Ayan. Ramdam ko yung malagkit every time I do that. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. Mm-hmm. It is transfer-proof. Pero, I'm not comfortable. I can still feel the stickiness. And this is the type of liquid lipstick na pag in-apply mo, hindi ka pwede mag-pucker. Kasi tinan mo. Smell good. Let's try the next shade because parang ang ganda nito. Okay, guys, so this is red velvet and it's a vampy red maroon with violet undertone. It's a very pretty color, very pretty, very sexy. But again, it's not comfortable on the lips. And ang ganda na sana ng shade, pero medyo abutin ka ng sham sham para even yung pag apply mo. Kasi hindi even yung distribution ng shade. So, ilang swipe ka pa para maging pantay. Pero honestly, I'm quite confused. 
sa lip products na napili nila. I had the impression na this is a K-beauty. Like, you know, Korean beauty inspired. But transfer proof liquid lipstick? I don't think that's the forte of K-beauty. They are more on like the moisturizing lip tints, glosses, or lipsticks. Yung mga ganun -ganun. At yung shade range na napili nila. Like a really bright red and a vampy maroon shade. Like, medyo parang wala sa theme. You know what I mean? Ayaw kong itong finisher natin. Ang lakas makatanda eh. Diba? So, naglagay na lang ako ng tinted gel lip balm. I used a little bit of apple candy and then in smudge ko lang. And then, nilagyan ko ng red velvet in the middle. So this is the finished look. Ayan. Okay, so final thoughts tayo. What do I recommend? Well, first of all, the entire line is really cute. It has this really teenager feels to it. Like beginner friendly-ish maybe. But honestly, it's like a little bit all over the place for me as their first launch for the K-beauty theme. Alam mo yun? First of all, I do recommend that you get the gua sha. Ito magagamit yung talaga to for your skincare. It's really going to help with your routine. Right now, the gua sha is 97 pesos. So go get it, you guys. It's just 97 pesos. Next product is itong skin mattifying setting powder. And this is right now is one 196 pesos and okay siya as a setting powder if you're going to use like a fluffy brush. Pero hindi ko favorite yung sponge niya and I feel like it's going to look cakey if you use it in that way with the sponge and it's dry. I feel like hindi na ganun kaganda yung niya if you reach the medium. It's going to look a little bit cakey. So setting powder. Don't use this as like you know a powder foundation. So right now it's 196 so if you're a beginner in makeup yeah go get it. Pero I'm not like super duper impressed with it. Pero diba kahit pa sabihin natin affordable First launch nila to eh. Dapat ginandahanan nila. <laughs> For the eyebrows, okay na wala ko na yung takat ng spoolie. It's somewhere out here. <laughs> now this, I love. Because I love eyebrow products na beginner friendly. Ilang beses ko na itong sinabi, brows are not my forte. So I want something na very easy to use. Very quick drawing and then that's it. At ito yun. So I do recommend ito. Eyebrow defining 3-in-1 pen. Next is the blush. How much is this blush? It's also 196 like, everything is below 200 ba? Yeah, somehow. Kasi yung eyebrow pencil is 127 pesos. Now, for the blush, ang layo ng itsura niya sa photo. Ito yung itsura sa photo. Like, this one looks like orange and this one looks like peach. But in person, di naman ganon. When you apply it, it's pigmented. You're going to see it. It's easy to blend. Hindi siya patchy. Pero marami siyang kickback. Pag tumama yung brush mo, asahan mo na may ang dami magili. Parang mga ganyan-ganyan. Oo. But if you're looking for an affordable blush na dalawa na in one price, sige, go get this one. For 196 pesos, pwede na itong blush na to. Pero again, it's not like the best powder blush in the market. But this one, you guys, this one, I really love. I really enjoy. Very easy to blend. Very creamy. Pigmented. At ito talaga, like, you know, KB. Beauty, K Beauty. Pero asahan nyo, yung packaging niya, it's not the most matibay packaging. This one, the twist part, is quite maluwag. So be careful na lang pag nilalagay mo to sa bag mo. Oh, macharil. 136. Not bad. Okay, so mapunta na tayo sa confusing part. So the collection is supposed to be K-Beauty and beginner friendly and then boom, biglang my transfer proof liquid lipstick. Not to mention, it's not the most comfortable, it's sticky and quite tricky to apply. Ganda sana ng color selection, but I don't recommend itong liquid lipstick na to. Um, kahit pa sabihin natin how much, uh, 129 pesos? Yeah, the quality is 129. <laughs> Sounds bad? But it is bad. So kaya naman 29, hindi ko sure recommend. Guess I didn't enjoy it. It's not the best quality. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Fresh Philippines. This one is a no-no for me. Okay, so overall, pwede na siyang pag-start dun sa mga mag-umpisa palang mag-makeup. Rasahan niyo, the quality is not like the best. Parang tinapatan niya yung price niya. Kung gano'n siya kamura, parang gano'n din yung... <laughs> Except for this one. I love this one. And the eyebrow pen. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy it kayo sa video natin for today. Maraya pa akong products na kailangan i-showcase sa inyo. So, please make sure na subscribe ka at nakaklik yung bell button para i-alert kita. Hindi pala ako. I-alert ka ng YouTube kapag ka nag-upload ako ng bagong video para hindi ka nahuhuli. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!